Law and the gang travel to Greenbit, and Sanji gets caught by the shackles of love. In my review of One Piece, episode 639. The second round of the Karita Coliseum Tournament is over, and the winner is Bartolomeo. To everyone's dismay, everybody's pretty pissed off about this. I also like the fact that the announcer is very upset about all of this. It's just a nice little comedic touch. But this scene is really important because we finally get to see a big change in Bellamy, even though he doesn't see that himself. There's a scene where he's being brought out on a stretcher after getting his ass handed to him by Bartolomeo, and he's talking to Luffy, and he's sort of, like, beating himself up a little bit because he feels that Luffy's just way stronger than him, and let's face it, guys, he probably is, but the scene here is really important because Bellamy feels that he's had really no change since the last time he saw Luffy. However, Luffy does see the change, and this, of course, sort of pisses him off just a little bit, gets under his skin, but it might be a way to change this character a little bit and give him a little bit more development. I think this isn't the end of Bellamy and his story arc, and I can't wait to see what more and more is going to come from this. What's really important about the scene, though, is Bartolomeo is listening the entire time, and he overhears that Luffy is indeed a member of the Straw Hat Pirates, and this seems to stop him dead in his tracks. And that's sort of where they leave that off. I can't wait to see what his connection to the Straw Hat Pirates is going to be, because it seems like almost every single person in this arc has some sort of weird rivalry or connection with Luffy and the Straw Hats for some reason or another. And they're also getting ready to start the next round of the tournament, which has another group of crazy-looking fighters. But the other important part of this week's episode is getting to see the group of Law, Caesar Clown, Robin, and Usopp go across this bridge and having to avoid these massive fighting fish and these are not like the ones in Karita Coliseum. These ones are like five times bigger. They're massive as shit. And even though they're on this like big, like massive bridge, which is supposed to protect them from them, it really doesn't do much. These fish just slam right into them. And I love the scene where that first one comes up and slams right real close to them. There's a nice little action scene here as they're all running across the bridge where all of our characters get to do something kind of cool, even Usopp. But I really like the scene where Robin used her abilities to use all of her hands to form one giant one and just spank one of these fish away. But it was Caesar Clown who really showed off this week because Law actually let him fight because he actually has his heart. So if he tries to fly away or do anything wrong, he'll just kill him immediately. But Caesar Clown's really friggin' powerful. He's got like these big beams of death that he just fires and destroys like all of these massive fish at once. And then there's this scene where they reach the end of the bridge, and it looks like this other fish is about to come over, just jump out of the water and kill them. And then it ends up getting speared and captured by this massive net and dragged away by these weird invisible people, which I'm assuming are those like weird fairy things that Zoro is after. I can't believe they still haven't gotten back to that because he finally caught up with his sword. I wonder what he's doing right now. But what's cool here is they finally cross the bridge by using Caesar Clown to fly over and they arrive on Green Bit, which essentially is like the Big Land. It's like Big Land from Super Mario Bros. 3. It's got all this massive vegetation, these huge mushrooms, this one giant rose. It looks like it's going to be a really crazy and wild island. But at the end of the episode, we actually go back to Sanji and Violet. I was really ready to hate this scene at first because I haven't really liked where their story arc is going. But they're finally getting to the part we all knew was going to happen where Violet was going to end up screwing him over. But at least they gave us a cool action scene where Sanji was able to go crazy on all of these gangsters and just beat the crap out of them. And honestly, a really cool scene. Especially when he did that one move where he took out the boss and came up right from underneath him and kicked him right in the jaw. It was very satisfying and just plain awesome. And I even liked when he kicked him away when the guy exploded into the sky. It did the little, like, Team Rocket twinkle thing. I just always think that's funny. But... Violet completely screws him over here. She gets real close to him and starts to mess with his head a little bit, and then she ends up cuffing both his legs and his arms. Now this is Sanji. I have a feeling he's probably going to be able to break out of this stuff pretty damn easily. He's pretty much on superhuman level, but I'm not really surprised by the events that happened here. I knew the minute Violet was getting associated with Sanji, she was going to try and screw him over in some way, because... Sanji's like the Brock of One Piece. Like, he tries, and he tries to, you know, schmooze the ladies, but it never works for him at all. And, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of interested to see, though, where Violet and her whole story is going and how that's going to tie into the entire events of Dress Rosa. All I know is this was another pretty damn good episode of One Piece for me. Um, you know, usually a lot of the times I have no complaints with this stuff, but you also need to realize that I don't read the manga, so every single thing I'm seeing is really, really fresh. And I actually thought that the pacing this week was really good. 
Um, you know, there were some parts where maybe some of the artwork could have been a little tighter, and maybe there are times when they can cut away on some of the flashbacks at the beginning of the episode, especially when they're trying to remind us of what we saw last week. But, uh, otherwise, I thought this was just a really fun episode. Uh, I can't wait till we get back to the actual Karita Coliseum. I can't wait to see what some of these brand new fighters are capable of. But otherwise, this was another great episode of One Piece showing us what the other members of the Straw Hat crew are doing. And it looks like they're about to go off on their own little crazy adventure. And I think that's perfect how they're able to have these two crazy different types of arcs going on at once. I can't wait to see what's going to happen in both of them. Not to mention, there's still a lot of loose ends we haven't even gotten back to. The whole thing with Zoro. Not to mention everybody back on the Thousand Sunny who were... Seeing that weird acid trip room when they opened that door, I can't believe they haven't gotten back to that yet either. And this is all culminating to this event where Law is actually planning to fight against Doflamingo, which is going to be so awesome! So I'm really excited for Dressrosa. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite arcs so far. It's little by little as the episodes are being released starting to turn into my favorite arc. But we'll see here. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that in another video someday. Maybe do like my top 10 favorite One Piece arcs. Because uh, I'd still like to talk about some of the earlier parts of the series that I never even had a chance to talk about. But otherwise, good episode right here. Uh, like I said, some of the art animation and the artwork could have been a little bit better. But for the most part, this was a great episode of One Piece. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I really liked it. I don't have too much to complain about. You know, it, superficially I can talk about how the fact that I don't like the previews. But they do that for every episode, so I just can't complain about that too much. This was definitely worth your time. Sanji kicking ass. Brand new fighters getting ready to go in. Bartolomeo is shocked about something. Fighting fish. Law. Caesar clown. Explosions. Fighting fish. Again, great episode. Check it out, guys. So, if you guys had a chance to check out this week's episode of One Piece, I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Did you have any favorite moments, any action scenes? Do you have any predictions for some of the future episodes? Or did you think this episode just plain sucked? Also, guys, before you leave, make sure and give this video a like. It really helps these videos out a lot. I cannot stress that enough. And you can also subscribe to our channel so you can see our videos as they are released. It really helps us out a lot, too. You can check us out on Facebook. You can check us out on Twitter. I'll put links to both of those in the description box below. And by the way, guys, I just want to go ahead and formally thank all of you. We are over 11,000 subs. Thank you guys so much. The momentum is never going to stop. We still have a lot of other big projects. So stay tuned for all of that. I will see you next time, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.